Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with InsideRealEstatePhotography.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a spotlight effect for your drone real estate photos to help the property stand out and also to help your work stand out amongst your local competition. So you may have seen this spotlight effect floating around out there on the internet for real estate drone photos lately. It's a pretty cool effect and I think it could be a bit more classy and high end looking than just having an arrow pointing to the property or a red outline around the property or something like that. It's a pretty simple effect to achieve but I thought I'd make this video to help out anyone out there that might be wondering how it's done. There's a couple of variations on this technique that I've seen as well and I'll get into those in this video too. I've also seen quite a bit of debate out there on this look as well. Some people seem to love it or hate it. There's a lot of mixed opinions about it. What do you guys think about this look? Do you think it's a cool effect or no? If not, why? Please leave a comment down below. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so here we are in Photoshop. Uh, here are the two finished effects. This is a sort of dim down spotlighting the property effect here with a little bit of an outline around it. And then we have the desaturated surrounding areas and only the property we are focusing on in color to focus your attention on that property. Another sort of spotlighting effect for the property. So those are the two finished effects that we're gonna cover in this video. All right, and here I have the two photos ready to go to be worked on so I can show you how this is done. Uh, these photos have already been edited, so they're just ready to go for this effect. So what I'm gonna do here simply is I'm going to create a new layer here and I'm gonna take my fill tool, the paint bucket. I'm just gonna make sure I have black selected here and I'm gonna fill this with black, this new layer. So now we just have a black layer. Now simply next thing I'm gonna do is take my opacity down to 50%. So now we have this dim down effect going over our whole image here. So now we want the property to be highlighted. So what we wanna do here is make sure I have the black layer selected and I'm gonna just zoom in here and I'm gonna take my uh, polygono lasso tool here. And I'm just gonna go around the property line here and uh, we're gonna cut this out, so. All right, so now we have our selection made of our property line here. And with my layer one selected, I'm just going to hit Command X, or you can go to Edit, Cut, and now it will cut out the property. So now we have this spotlight effect. This property is lit up and everything else is dimmed down a bit. So it gives it that spotlight effect. It really brings your eye in and highlights this property specifically. So you could actually just leave it like this, and that's totally cool. But another extra step here, like I showed in the example, is this little white outline here. And I'll show you how that's done. So what I'm gonna do here is going to layer one here. I'm gonna hit Command J to duplicate layer, or you can go to the layer and go to, to duplicate layer, same thing. So with this new layer selected, I'm gonna bring my opacity back up to 100%. And now I'm going to double click on this layer and I wanna put a stroke on it. So I'm gonna go to stroke so that will put a white stroke on it. Nine, that seems pretty good, the thickness, but you can change the uh, you know the thickness of the stroke here. I want it to position to be on the inside. And yeah, this looks pretty good to me, so I'm just gonna hit okay. What I wanna do here is with this layer selected again, I wanna go to fill here, and I wanna bring the fill down to zero. So that will get rid of the black in here. So now that the black is gone, with this layer selected again, I wanna control click on it, or right click, and I'm gonna to go to rasterize layer style. So that's gonna rasterize this stroke effect. So the stroke is going around the outside of the image here too, so we wanna get rid of that obviously. So how to do that, I'm gonna hit M for my marquee tool here, and I'm gonna make a box around the property here, and I'm gonna to go to select inverse. So with this layer selected, now I'm gonna go command X or you know edit cut again, and that will get rid of this outer stroke so that's gone now. So now we just have a stroke going around our property line here. But I wanna do some things here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I don't like the stroke going around 
the upper part of this house here kind of just doesn't look good, doesn't make sense because the property line's really going behind the house. So I want to get rid of this stroke here. So all, all I'm going to do now that it's rasterized, I can erase it. So I'm just going to get my eraser tool, hit the E key, and I'm simply just going to, oops, erase this. Now I can just go around and erase this stroke up here. All right, now that looks good. Also here with this telephone pole, I'm gonna go in here, just uh, get rid of that as well. It looks like it goes around it. There you go. Now the only thing is I think the white line is a little too bright for me, so I'm just gonna, you know, with this layer selected, I'm gonna bring the opacity down a little bit on it. So it's not so glaring around like 75% or so, so that looks good. All right guys, so that's how that look is done. This image would be finished now. I would just save it out and that would be that. Let's take a look at the second image now and take a look at how to do the desaturated spotlight effect. All right, so here we have our second image. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna duplicate this layer. So with this layer selected, you could hit Command J and duplicate it or go to duplicate layer up here. And now that we have this duplicated, what I'm gonna do now is go to image adjustments I'm going to go to hue and saturation and now I'm just going to take the saturation all the way down to negative 100. So now we have a completely desaturated image. So I'm going to hit OK. And the next thing I want to do is I'm not going to just cut this out. I want to create a layer mask so we have a little more flexibility here. So I'm just going to hit the create layer mask button. So now we have a mask here and now with the mask selected, make sure the mask is selected. I'm going to again select my polygonal lasso tool. That's right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to go around the property line here again. So I'll start about here and just start going around. So now we have our property line basically selected here. We're gonna a little fine tune this here. I'll show you that in a second. So what I wanna do here is now I wanna make sure black is my background color here. And I'm just gonna hit Command X while this layer mask is selected. So now we have our property in color here, but you know, it cut off some of these trees and some of the things on the property now are like half black and white, half color. So that's funny looking. So now we're gonna tweak that. So what we wanna do here is just zoom in a bit. I want my brush tool. So I'm gonna hit B for brush tool. And then uh, I want to somewhat soft brush, maybe like 25% hardness. I'll make sure my flow is 100%. And we're going to be painting on the white areas out here. So we want to make sure we have black selected as our foreground color. And I'm just gonna start painting in some of these areas that I want to be included in the color section. So like this tree, which is on their property. Go around here and just check this out. Conversely, if you hit X and use white, you can erase some of these areas like above the fence line here a little bit. You know, you can get as detailed as you want with this. So again, these trees are part of their property. They're half cut off, so it's funny looking. So I'm just gonna color in the rest of these trees. Hard to kind of even tell, <laughs> which is fine. Just color some of these in. Top of this bush, cut off.
see like this tree is on the other property so I'm gonna actually just take this out it you really just have to use your discretion here and you know whatever looks right to you like these trees you know on the tops here get rid of that So yeah, use your discretion. Like this tree here, you know, it would look stupid if I made this all black and white here because it really encroaches on their property. So even though it's like cut off halfway, I'm gonna use my personal discretion here and say that I'm gonna just be okay with that. So, you know, whatever you think looks right. All right guys, so that image is finished now. That's the desaturated look. It's a little variation on the same technique. Now let's take a look at the two finished images. All right guys, so that's the spotlight drone photo effect that's sort of trending right now. Again, please let me know your thoughts on this technique down in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I really appreciate your support. If you're interested in supporting the channel in other ways, please see the link down in the description below. Thanks again so much for watching this video and I'll see you again on the next one.